let us understand the importance of service mocking and the use of API specifications in this context. Let's say I'm building an application which has dependency on several of my backend services and also external dependencies. Now, all of these dependencies may not be available to me or under construction, and this means I cannot start development. How do I cross this hurdle? So this is where the usual accepted practice is to create service mocks based on request responses that I have already discussed with the other teams and hand roll the mock myself. However, there is a very big problem with this approach because such hand rolled mocks can go very easily out of sync with the actual service as it evolves, let's say to a version two. So thereby my service mock is not representative of the actual service, which means I am in for a lot of surprises when I go into integration testing and that will lead to a lot of rework. How do I avoid this? So this is where API specifications can come to our rescue. If we are able to base our service mocks based on the API specifications, then the service virtualization could be done on top of it. So let us look at an example of one such tool which we have tried in the past. I have uploaded an open API specification. It has a get products operation here and it returns a bunch of products as a list and each product has this particular schema as seen here. So I've already set this up. Now let me go ahead and add an example here which is also adhering to the schema and then let me save it and I can now hit the service mock, the wire mock uh, instance and I'll get back the response that I set up. However, there is one big problem with YMOP, which is I can go and update this value, which is the price, and set it to not a number. This is clearly a string. And you can see that the schema says that price is supposed to be a number and in particular a float. But I have set up a string here. When I save this, YMOP does not give me any feedback. This is really bad because I'm actually making a mistake in setting up my example and I'm not getting any feedback. What's worse, I can go to the YMOC, uh URL and I hit the URLs and I get back the incorrect response. Now, if I'm the API consumer and I'm depending on this information, then I'm again back to square one, like what I was discussing in the slide, wherein I am working off of the mock, which is not representative of the API specification or rather in turn not representative of the actual service itself. So which is where example validation is really, really crucial. Problem number two with YMOC is because it's particularly a mocking tool here in this circumstance, there is no guarantees in place in terms of workflow and uh, developer experience that this API specification that I've set up within YMOC is being actually used or adhered to by the API provider. Maybe the API provider has deviated and they have not given me the latest API specification. I would not know that. The only way I would find out is by actually integration testing, which means again, this whole purpose is defeated. So these are some of the important blocker issues that we identified because of which we were not able to use FireMock for the purpose of service mocking using API specifications such as OpenAPI. The most important thing being example validation.